Hi everyone, so today I want to show you a, a tool uh, which is free. Uh, the link will be in the description. So uh, this tool is uh, easy paneling. Uh, what does easy paneling uh, does? Basically, let's say you want to work on an art surface or a car, anything. Uh, and you want to do uh, panels uh, in your, on your object. Uh, the problem is you can uh, adapt the usual technique, which is uh, to edge split by sharp edges. So this way you have a non-destructive uh, workflow. Uh, anytime you can uh, modify uh, your object and so, uh, and so you keep uh, the paneling on a modular uh, dynamic workflow. So the, the problem of this technique, it's good, but the problem of this technique is that, as you know it, uh, what's important when you do uh, art surface modeling and uh, paneling, uh, the, the most important thing is to uh, have good shading afterwards. So you, you want to have a very uh, consistent shading between panels. Uh, so the problem with the usual technique of having an edge split modifier on on top and a subdivision uh, be, uh, then solidify and uh, bevel. So this is the classic uh, way to do it. There's, there are other ways, so you can uh, have a duplicate of this mesh and then shrink wrap this one to the base one. The base one uh, has no split and then you can shrink wrap the duplicated one on the first one. Uh, the second one has a split and uh, this other one is not split so but that's very annoying to do and takes uh, a lot of steps and your blotter uh, your um, your uh, project uh, has a lot of uh, objects and everything it's uh, it's horrible uh, as a workflow it's really horrible so that's why i made a tool which helps you do paneling the same way as you used to be as you used to do with the edge split basically but it's a geonode tool so it basically works the same you define uh, edges uh, to be sharp and so those edges will uh, represent the uh, paneling uh, boundaries but these tools uh, preserve preserves a perfect shading transition between each panel. As you can see, if we go to uh, orthographic view, we have a clear uh, view of the differences in shading between the two process, uh, process. So this one is easy panel and this one is the regular approach based on edge split and subdivision. As you can see, uh, the shading is is breaking between panels uh, you can see it with this matcap uh, if you want to uh, have this matcap I don't know if it's uh, basically uh, there is a video from um, I'll put the link in the description good channel a uh, good uh, the best channel for to learn blender from I'll put the link in the description for uh, extra matcap so uh, as you can see with this matcap is very clear we can see that the shading is broken uh, between panels on uh, this mesh but this mesh the pan the shading is very consistent as you can see let's take a look at this part on this mesh as you can see the the shading is really consistent it's always following that's what you want in art surface because uh, that will really define the way your uh, final mesh looks. Uh, and if we take a look at uh, the or, uh, original way, uh, the default way of doing things, you can see that the, the paneling is heavily breaking uh, on every panel. So you can see that it, it, there is an offset e everywhere, almost everywhere. This works, okay, this works, but it doesn't work here, it doesn't work here. If you can, uh, if we compare both, you can see that this one is always working. So uh, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, this tool, it's free. I'm gonna upload it on a Blender Market. You can get it for free. So basically what I suggest you to do in order to use it uh, quickly, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial as well. So uh, what I suggest you to do is to uh, use it uh, to um, in your asset libra library there are uh, tutorials on the internet how to uh, set up a asset library and so basically what uh, what you want to do is to simply uh, when you when you build up your uh, asset library for blender you define a, a, a folder in which you store your uh, assets 
and so uh, once you've get you've got the easy paneling uh, add-on journal add-on i just uh, suggest you to simply put the blend file inside the asset library folder you've defined in a blender and so whenever you open a new project let's do it right now you will have access to the easy paneling um, add-on so how do you use it it's very simple it's uh, basically almost the same way as you use the the first uh, method so basically you uh, go uh, you you have an object let's go to shade smooth take easy paneling drop it on the object you will get the the menu uh, showing up and so we've we're gonna uh, add uh, solidify afterwards uh, so very basic stuff let's go on rim only and we are gonna add a bevel and for the bevel we'll go with uh, three and uh, we'll go add in normals all right and so what you do you just uh, select edges and you go mark sharp and there you have it it's great so uh let's see we're gonna do this uh what's going on what why is it okay so in the menu you can uh, change the um, subdivision directly and you have corners what does the corners means corners means uh let's say we want to uh we want to do paneling like that okay but we don't want those uh, round uh, connections so uh, usually what you do is you do a vertex uh, crease but with easy paneling you create a vert vertex group and then you assign those to the vertex group and you go back to the menu and call it from here group point group okay and so now it's done so we're gonna repeat the operation uh, mark sharp uh, let's select this one mark sharp and so this is rounded we don't want those uh, connection to be rounded we go back to vertex group assign and boom um, so yeah so the benefit uh, I've always said it the benefit uh, I've already said it the benefit of using uh, this uh, this add-on is that you you keep a, a perfect shading uh, between panels uh, which you can't uh, in the usual way of doing things as you can see shading is really perfect and let's say you have uh, some problems here well. so this is uh, the uh, problem created by ge geometry we don't uh, have to deal with this so uh, that's how you use it um, what can I do more about it so as you can see it's uh, it's not complex at all so the menu, the geonode is very basic uh, I suggest you not to touch uh, anything in there there is no reason to do so uh, why does what does the normal normal scale does so, so I've added this option because let's say um, let's say you are retopoly retopologizing uh, an object and uh, sometimes you just want uh, the your new object to stick a little bit more outside of the the default uh, object the object on which you're uh, retopolog retopologizing uh, yeah so uh, this is an option it really doesn't matter much it's just an option that uh, will rescale the, uh, the mesh uh, based on the normal ori orientations of its faces so yeah uh, for me, it is useful when I work on a retopologizing a car. Uh, I set up a factor of uh, 0 0.01, and so the new geometry will uh, stick up a little bit more uh, over the base mesh. Uh, it's a good stuff to have when you work with the subdivided mesh because subdivision used to. Uh, uh, create uh, smaller meshes sometimes on uh, some curves and etc so that's an option uh, by default it's a zero uh, so by default you should keep it at zero and so yeah that's uh, what it does uh, it's pretty straightforward and uh, yes the the main reason to use this is to keep uh, to easily keep a perfect shading between panels and so uh, yeah you're done it's only everything is only on one object you don't have to duplicate an object uh, have a shrink wrap uh, anything so yeah 
that's it for uh, for this uh, add-on so it's free go grab it on the blender market and uh yep uh, thank you very much i guess and uh yeah bye bye see you